the most important thing about human resources is staying organized. And what better way to do it in project management? Now, I want to show you how you can use ClickUp for your HR teams. And I know there's so many different ways you can use it, which is why I want to show you some of the best ways and just give you some advice on how to get set up and some cool tips that will help you out. Let's dive in. First, you're going to want to create a team, as always. Create a team for your company. That's all you need to do. Next, I recommend creating a space for HR. Now, what you can do is, keep in mind, you can also create a space for the different uh, you know, departments you have. You can have an HR for marketing, an HR for development. You can separate those if you need to. That's why ClickUp's hierarchy is set up how it is. So if your company grows from a small 10-person company to a 50-person company, you can separate that as need be. Now, let's talk about that space. Now, in that space, there's a few things you're going to want to do. And let me show you the settings of this space to kind of help you understand what I think is one of the best ways to get set up. One, if you want to make it private, you sure probably should. I have this one for everyone to see just because of how it's set up. But I would make this for just the HR team so no one else can come in and see what's going on here. Make it private. Select the users who you want to have access. Secondly, your statuses are extremely important. So I'm going to talk about, there's obviously so many different statuses you can use. The first one, one of the biggest parts of HR is hiring, right? So what I want you to understand is that you can actually use these statuses to take um, your candidates through the hiring process and let everyone know where you're at. So you can go from open to contacted, phone interview, live interview, offer sent, hired, however your, um, you know, how your structure works. Feel free to set that up here. And this way, people can come in, they don't have to ask you, hey, how did that candidate do? Well, they can see they're okay, they're at the live interview stage, you can have hired. I guess I should probably even add in not going to work or something like that here. But you can have that, that here. So that way everyone knows where you're at with those. And then lastly, I recommend using most of our features, maybe accept time estimates. But again, always feel free to turn on your click apps. You can change these at any time. Now let's go to the most important part, getting set up. So you have your space. Now you have your HR space. Now let's talk about the projects and list. I want you to think of projects as folders, right? And then list as the tabs underneath those folders. So we have hiring. And here you have the different types of roles you're hiring for. So sales applicants, development, marketing. And how I best see it fit is I say sales applicants, and then maybe like sales reps. And then you can put as actual subtask in here who you're hiring for each, right? So you can come here with sales reps and say, okay, we've got Rick, we've got Chris, we've got Rachel. These are the ones we're interviewing right now. And you can see what status they're in just like this. Or if you wanted to, you can always just make the sales at reps and then have the sales reps right here, their name. So I could have Rick, John, all that here again. It's really what works best for you. I just want you to get an understanding of how you can set that up and know that you have so much flexibility. And you can have due dates of when you want this to be done, maybe priorities on how strong they are. And as we had custom fields in a few weeks, I'm sure you can do a lot more here. Um, another really big use case is one-on-ones. We use one. We use it for our one-on-ones here at ClickUp. We have each person, and you can come in. You can take your notes. You can dive in and say, "Okay, I want to see how Johnny's one-on-one went." You can type everything about it here in the description. You can add little comments. You can make this reoccurring if you want to. So if you want to make this repeat every two weeks, that way you don't forget to do it. I recommend it. And you can even do it two weeks. You can do it one way. You can do a schedule. So maybe on like the second Sunday or things like that. Or you can say every time we do the one-on-one, -on -one, I want to do it again two weeks later. So you know that sometimes you might get to it later than you want, but always keep that two-week trigger after you complete it. A few other cool things you can do um, in here is if you ever want to assign yourself a comment to remind something or maybe have someone else do an interview, you can do that very easily right here. Just come here and say, okay, at Jorgen, interview follow-up tomorrow. Or whenever and then you can just assign this comment or just have him take the notes or something like that whatever it may be you can assign it and that way he's not going to forget it becomes an action item last thing you can see we have complaints payroll anything like that but what i want you to understand is this is really how you want to get set up and if you want to change your view you can so if you want to see everything that's going on with the hiring just click hiring and you'll see everything in that project which is all of these lists and you can see it move along these different statuses right and these are the ones i showed you earlier now in one-on-ones you can keep in mind you can also change your statuses on the project level. You can do that by clicking the ellipses here and then edit project statuses. Why am I telling you that? Because obviously your one on ones are gonna go a little different. You're not you're not contacting him that way. So you can move here to in progress, ready, review, done. So you can change your statuses on the project level for each part of the HR team. All right. That's all my tips for now. Good luck getting set up. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at help at clickup.com. Thanks and stay productive.